Hello ladies, I'm Dr. Natalie Bittature and today we are talking about managing partnerships. This is a huge part of entrepreneurship and when I say managing partnerships I mean externally and also internally because it's the same values really that help you to run your team and at the beginning your team is more of partnerships with different people and seeing how your business is growing. So the first principle is responsibility. To be an entrepreneur you have to take responsibility for everything, that's the truth. Accept that the good easy days are gone. Everything is your problem. Everything is your fault. And even when things go well, it's your credit. That's the beauty of it. But responsibility means you can't pass on your problem to other people. You have to take ownership of everything and be accountable for all the things that you're doing. And it's very important in partnerships because you want to be a responsible partner and you want to be someone that can be relied on, that adds value, that can be trusted. And that's how partnerships can grow and flourish because you want to have partners to help you to grow your own business. So there's different reasons to have partners. Of course, you're always trying to grow the business, grow the revenue, grow your footprint, grow your brand, and trying to find the right type of partner to make sure that you are getting value and they are getting value. I feel like that's somewhere so many entrepreneurs go wrong. They come and ask someone for sponsorship or I want to be your partner. Why should they be your partner? What value are you bringing to them? And it's something it's your responsibility to think about in advance. So when you approach someone and they have a business that is similar to you or they have a brand that is bigger than yours and you want to be associated with them, you have to be able to tell them why they need to associate with you. Don't just say my business is great, my products are great. Why does that help them? They have so many options for partners. They have limited time and resources as well. Why should they give you and your company a chance? So be responsible about how you approach that and take ownership of that. This is my company. This is why I want us to partner. And I see this as the value for both of us. This is how you will benefit. This is how I will benefit. Which brings me to the second point, transparency. I don't understand why in our culture we like to hide everything and it's secretive and competitive. That is not helpful to anyone. Collaboration is how we are all going to grow. But you can't collaborate in an honest way if you're hiding things from each other. Yes, they are not your business partner, so you don't need to show them your intimate details of your financials or your payroll or whatever is going on. But be honest, be upfront, have integrity in what you're saying and doing. Tell them the truth. This is where I see I will benefit from this. And it means a lot to me and my business, which shows you I really want this and I will take it seriously. And be honest, this is how you will benefit. A lot of partnerships involve commission or sharing sales figures. And people try to lie or hide or cheat. If you're cheating your own partner, you're cheating yourself. How can they help you if you're not even being, having integrity in what you're doing? Be honest with them. Be upfront. Have transparency within the partnership. Because your partner is your teammate. You're doing this together. If you are both benefiting, you're in it together. You have to think of yourselves, we're in the same boat. I can't try and sink you because I'll go down with it. So you want to support them and you want them to support you. So think about it like that and be open and transparent in how you do it. Because that is so key to building the trust that you need to have within the partnership. And then, once you have the partner, you want to have good communication. It's another part of transparency and responsibility. You don't want a partner who you don't communicate three months have passed. Are we still in a partnership? I don't know. Have they made sales? Have I made sales? Oh, I saw them doing that event the other day. I had no idea. Be proactive. Be involved. Why did you ask them to be your partner if you weren't going to take it seriously? It shows a level of indiscipline. And someone will not be able to trust you or vouch for you or recommend you if they're like, mm, they said they wanted a partnership, but I haven't heard from them in six months. You try another company because your partner is part of your network now. They can bring in sales for you. They can do word of mouth. They can support you in other ways. They can introduce you to their network. So communicate, share with them your events, your promotions, what's going on, updates. Ask them, how is it going for you? Which area is making sense? Which product is growing fast? Do you think we can partner on these other things? How about we attend an event together or we apply for a grant together? Use your network, use your resources. Collaboration is great. It's not a bad thing. It's not something to run away from. Even partners who are in similar businesses to you. You can always find synergies. You can buy stuff together. Let's import our things together since we're importing the same thing from the same place. Or let's attend things together. Let's help each other. Let's share costs where we can. There's so many opportunities if you have a collaborative mindset. So you need to communicate well, be transparent, and take responsibility. Because partnerships are the way you can grow much faster than going on your own. 
And when you think of those principles, you can also use that within your team, within your company. Be transparent, be responsible, and communicate well with your own team, with your staff members, with your stakeholders, who are the people affected by your business, your family, your community, where is your business physically located, who else is being affected and has to live with the consequences of your decisions. These are all your partners. If you are a very difficult neighbor because now you're doing machinery in your house and you're making noise for everyone, they're going to keep complaining about you. They're going to report you to KCCA. You're going to get shut down. You need to make sure you have good transparency and communication with all your stakeholders because they're all partners in your business. They might not sign checks with you, but they're all affecting you and you're affecting them. So you have to be conscious about your footprint in your environment, about who is involved and who feels the consequences from what you and your business do those are all partners you should think of in your mind so how can you make sure it's good for them as well if you have a noisy business and your neighbors are complaining once in a while give them a bonus or a discount or a free something invite them for an event give them a gift because they're putting up a lot with your noise and they're not reporting you or having problems there you have to try and think for other people as well be proactive so that you, you don't just think of yourself and your own narrow mind and your own business. Once you have a business, it's an entity in the world. So it has its own life. It's affecting so many other people that you never even thought you would affect. But it's your responsibility as an entrepreneur to manage these relationships, to think about how you're affecting other people and how you can make sure you are positively affecting them. Not only negative and problematic and I have this trauma and this one is suing me and this one is complaining. See how you can get ahead and manage those partnerships well. So responsibility, transparency, communication, all key.